I am making a shadow box for weddings. I have done three so far and they've all turned out beautiful. First thing I need is all the supplies. And then you find out what, if there's a theme and colors and what flowers they might use. And then you collect all the things you need. I used purple because her colors are purple. So I start with the frame first by the frame and then you pick out the paper for you want for the background of the frame and then you want to collect glitter, sticky back foam, craft scissors, a pair of scissors and then I've got these I picked up at Michael's and the ribbon and some string and tacky glue and the lid of a shoe box. And then I've got cutting board and white paper, which is just regular copy paper. And you'll need a needle and co the color paper you, cho you choose for the theme and silk flowers. These are little birds that I've used before. Now with this frame, it's 11 by 14 and the paper isn't as big as the frame. So I will be creative and make something work, make something look really nice, which is a four by four. And I took this and, the, and this colored paper and I, I put it on there on the paper and I traced it around like I did right here, as you can see. And then I went, it's about a half inch, maybe a fourth of an inch from those lines. I'll take these, one of these scissors and you can choose whatever uh, design you want. Um, and cut the edges like this. Then you will cut this, the inside out. So I cut the inside out and what I do is you can see how the pencil marks are. So you don't want to use that side. You want to use the other side. It doesn't have the pencil marks. Now taking your string, you want to make sure that it fits all the way around and more at, a, at about another 12 inches. And then tie a knot on the end. Make sure you start from the back first. Now after I have the cut, I'll take a piece of tape like I did here and wrap it around the outside, the, the end because it'll ravel. And then when you've got it through the first hole, you can cut that thread, that, um, tape off. Now you can begin threading it from the back to the front and you can do it this way, the loopy way, and just go all the way around. Now if you want to, instead of using a needle to make the holes, you can use a hole puncher, but make sure it's a small one. Now, I didn't mention that the paper you use is cardstock so that the needle goes through easier. But when you pull it through, be sure you pull it through very gently. As you can see, I ended right there. And then I pull it through to the back. And that's where you will end it. Once you've pulled it through, you're going to want to cut it. You want to cut this other one so it's not so long and then you're going to want to glue it down with your tacky glue like this. Put it down like this and then pull it down like that and then give it some time to dry. Now you're going to want to take your picture and you're going to want to put glue on the back, a glue stick, using the glue stick. Don't worry about too much about the middle. You take this 
and you have your cardstock, a piece of cardstock, and and put it on, allowing a, just a just a little tiny bit to hang over, like this. Now, while that's drying, you're going to want to work on your birds. You're going to want to cut an eighth of an inch so that you have an eighth inch strip of paper. Then you're going to want to take it and just start rolling the paper on here. You just hold it and just start rolling. Just slide it off and just let it open up. Now what I do is I take it and I just kind of unravel a little bit, just a little bit, depending on the size bird you want. And then you take some glue, put it on the inside of the edge, and so that you have enough room, then you're going to take it and you can do that, and then just take the edge and just pinch it, and pinch it upwards so you have the tail. And then just a little, just a little pinch so you have the beak. But then take that beak and the tail and just go upwards like that. Then you have your bird. The tail, you want to make sure the tail is up higher than the beak, like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this box lid, shoe box, and put some tacky glue down on the bottom. And then over here I'm going to put some glitter, and I'm using white glitter. So what I did is I took this glue and I just kind of made a little pool. And then I took my glitter and spread it out like this. Then I'm going to take my little bird and I'm going to dip it in this glue. Sometimes I have to use a paintbrush. Sometimes that works better. Then I'm going to take and put it down on the glitter. And I'll do that with all five of them. Now you'll want to let these little birds dry for quite a while, uh, at least an hour or so, so that they're stiff and easier to work with so they don't get ruined. Now you want to take your picture that you've glued on your paper and you want to cut it out. Then you want to glue your frame onto your picture. Now you might want to put something heavy on it like a book and just leave it for a little bit so it has plenty of time to dry on there. Now you're going to take your frame, this one's 11 by 14, and flip it over and take off the back. Once you have the back off, you want to take the and take the paper off that's on the inside or on the front part of the frame. Sometimes they'll have this, sometimes they don't. You're going to take this and deciding on what which side you want to do. You want to do it the lengthwise or height, whichever, but I'm going to do it this way. And I'm going to put my paper on. So what I decided to do, since the paper doesn't fit all the way across, is I take it and just put it in the center and take another piece of paper or whatever you want to use and what I'm going to do this is one and a half inches wide and I'm going to put it on the sides and on the top now on the top as you can see it doesn't fit all the way so I'm going to add a piece now when I put this paper down and instead of glue I'm going to use these glue dots if you don't know how to use glue dots you take it you peel, pull it until you end up with it on the clear side, and then set it down on the on the on this cloth, and then you just rub it as much as you can, and then 
take your plastic thing and it comes right off. So it's right down here. And you do that. So I've got glue dots all the way around there so the paper sticks. Then you just place your paper down on the glue dots and press gently. It sticks pretty good. I'm just take this and make it press along the edges so it makes kind of a fold because you're going to want to cut that off. It doesn't have to be exact, it's going to show. So now when you go to put your strips on, as you can see, the top one is shorter, but then you're going to take a piece and you're going to, you're going to glue it down um, using your, you can either use a glue stick or your tacky glue or even your uh, glue dots. And you're going to want to do that. You're going to want to put this, this one down first actually. And then this one, that's way more uniform. And then this one will go like on this side and you wanna put this small, smaller strip on this side. And then you just cut off the excess. So what I did is on the place where there's cloth, the glue stick doesn't stick very well. So what I did is I used my uh, glue dots and put them along the side and then used my glue stick on the paper part and then pressed it down. Then you take the shorter, this the top part with the short piece and just get it as close as you can together and it's not even that noticeable. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna cut the edges off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this glittery paper and their invitation and I'm going to turn this paper over and I'm going to set this on top and allow about a quarter of an inch and a, a make, to make a frame. Okay, so I used my cutter to cut off the pieces so that they're more even. It'll look nicer and more even on this piece right here. And then I'll center it. And you're not going to, you're going to have to use glue dots to put this on um, because nothing else will stick to it. So the glue dots worked just great. They stuck really, really well. So this is the way to go using the glue dots. So what I did to go along the edges to make it look a little more uh, even and adds a, adds a little more purple to it. And I put it around just along the edge there and I left this open because you don't need to have it there because you're gonna put, and I decided to turn the frame around instead of having it long, uh, wide, I'm gonna make it long. And so you put your, your pick your invitation right about here and make sure it's even on these corners. And then you're gonna to wanna to place your picture wherever you want. I'm putting it up at just, just a bit right there, about here because I'm gonna add little things like the silk flowers and the birds and all that. Now, when you get ready to put this invitation on here, making sure it's even all the way around, like about like that. Now, you're gonna wanna take these foam sticky things, because you're gonna wanna raise it up and make it look like 3D. So you take these like this, it's sticky on this side, you place it down, not on the edge, but close to the edge. And then, then when you're ready, when you got them all down, you peel the tops off like this, and then it's sticky on this side. Then you peel off the tops and you lay it down where you want to put it so that it looks like this. See how it's raised up? Using the decorations you have, um, I found something that looks kind of like a twig. I'm gonna put it down here. These are this foam things and flowers and the birds I'm gonna have sit on these branches. I'm gonna make a do a few more here. 
Um, and then I'm going to put this word love up here somewhere, right about here. When you put those on, you can use either hot glue. I prefer hot glue. Now, I wanted to make a smaller flower because these, these flowers I got didn't come with any small ones. So what you do is you take the back off this part and then you take off, I took off two layers of flowers and that gave you a smaller flower. So one thing I forgot to mention was when I put, these aren't glued down yet, when I put, when I got this one ready, the picture, what I did is, um, since this is already raised, um, I would only, I would need to raise this up twice. So I've got two um, stacked high so that um, it's even, and only one stacked high on this side, all stacked except for two on this side so that it's, it's even all the way across. So what I did with the word love is on the back, I made it so that it stands out better by putting a drop of hot glue in certain different places and let it dry. I'm not using this foam squares because it'll show. Whereas the hot glue is clear, as you can see. And then I put it on about right above the right above the word the, the invitation. Now I've got these glued on right now, and I'm in the process of arranging these to look nice and uniform um, and the little birds and then I took the glitter paper and I made a little heart. I'm going to put it between the two beaks of the birds so that it looks like this and then I'm going to place it On the branches so it looks like they're in the tr a tree. Now I'm going to take a smaller little bird and I'm going to put it on this branch that I put here. I'm going to put that little birdie right there. Then I'm going to take my decorations and start adding them on. Now I've added these adhesive gems to the top corners of this frame. I've got the birds on, I've got all the decorations on, it's all glued in and ready to be framed. Last thing, making sure all of the glitters are off here and off the picture. Make sure all the glue strings are off, otherwise it looks like spider webs. Now, Put your frame, it's upside down. You're going to take this, and since it's all glued in, it's not going to fall out. You're going to want to put it down like this, and it'll fit in there. And push all the little pieces, metals down so that the frame doesn't come out. I mean, so the picture doesn't come out. Then, you have yourself a nice wedding gift. There are so many options that you can do to make a shadow box look really nice. You can use, you can make it, do a wedding picture. This is my daughter and her husband. You can do vintage. You can even do your pets. Or you can even do your siblings. There's just, you can just take any picture and just decorate it up and make it look nice. Well, I hope you've learned a lot today. It is a little time consuming, but you can get it done in one day as long as you have all the materials. I hope you had fun with it. Hope you learned a lot. See you next time.